Welcome to Meldon Law and Friends. I'm Jeffrey Meldon, your host and attorney and founder of Meldon Law. And uh, we are having a great time uh, this fall. Things are really uh, cranking here in uh, uh, North Central Florida. The uh, University of Florida is putting on the uh, homecoming parade, and that's pretty exciting. Meldon Law is going to have a huge uh, presence there with uh, all of our team members and a float. We have the new Meldon Law van that's uh, wrapped with a Gator logo all over it. And the uh, the parade is so much fun. It's uh, Friday, this coming Friday. Uh, I think it's the 17th, uh, maybe the 18th. Anyhow, uh, it's Friday at noon. And all you have to do is get on University Avenue and you'll uh, see the parade. It's really a pretty cool parade. I've been going there for over 50 years and uh, uh, we shut down the office and everybody goes out and has a great time. So uh, please, uh, let's support um, what's going on in the community and, and that's kind of a fun uh, event. We uh, shout out to... Um, E.J. Neves of the Arts of E.J. Neves and Daniel Gray with Exotic Mobile Marketing for helping us put together our fabulous float. A uh, couple other things going on. Um, we have a big football game coming up this weekend with Kentucky. Uh, see if we can turn our fortunes around after a narrow loss to Tennessee. Uh, the Florida-Georgia game's coming up in Jacksonville, uh, and it is really uh, an exciting time. Win or lose, we always uh, win the tailgate. Uh, November 2nd, uh, so it's about uh, two and a half weeks away, and it's going to be um, a great time. So Melden Law uh, is giving away two really nice tickets to uh, the game, plus... A two-night stay at the Riverfront uh, Hotel Doubletree right across from the stadium. You can actually take a ferry right from the, your hotel over to the stadium. And uh, Friday and Saturday night, uh, Friday night, we're treating everybody to uh, a beautiful dinner at Ruth Chris Steakhouse. And uh, uh, when you go uh, to the game on Saturday, we have two passes to the Gator hospitality event going on uh we also throw in a football signed by uh, coach napier and a uh a duffel bag full of swag from melden law all you have to do is to go to um, our facebook page or our instagram page melden law that's all you have to do go to uh, melden law facebook or uh, the Instagram page for Melden Law, and you will see how easy it is uh, to enter. So let's uh, uh, make it happen. Uh, some other things. Um, our good friend, Lizzie Jenkins, is turning 86, and we are having a party right here at Spurrier's Gridiron Grill. It's going to be a blast. So let's... Uh, uh, you know, celebrate Lizzie's uh, 86th birthday. Lizzie is a descendant of the original res uh, residents of Rosewood and is dedicating herself to creating a museum and uh, actually a, a whole community out near Archer where she uh, and her family own 26 acres. I think they're going to, they're trying to do a whole little uh, uh, deal out there, including a museum. So this is to celebrate her 86th birthday and uh, to raise money for Rosewood. So uh, all you have to do is go to uh, Real Rosewood uh, website, uh, their Facebook page, Real Rosewood, and uh, you'll be able to buy tickets. They're only 50 bucks. It includes one free drink. It includes a, a, a great dinner, so uh, it's going to be a blast. I'll be there, and uh, it's going to be fun. A uh, couple other things. In Lake City, the 70th annual uh, Florida Gateway Fair uh, from October 25th through November 3rd. So that's going like uh, two weekends. 
I guess once they set it up, they want to make sure they uh, give an opportunity for everyone to come. But it's it's a um, it's like a, a really nice county fair. Uh, they've got um, a livestock show, uh, and there's going to be all kinds of stuff going on for the kids. If uh, you want to uh, go to the Midway, they're going to have rides and games. Uh, they, they're going to have a lot of animals out there. Uh, entertainment is coming there. They've got some Nashville newcomers like Chase Matthew and uh, Carly Scott Collins are going to be is going to be there. So that's um, two weekends, um, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, if you want to go, um, I think the best thing to do would just be to uh, look up Florida Gateway Fair Lake City. If you just Google that, it'll get you to uh, the right place. It's at the Florida Gateway Fairgrounds, and uh, October 25th through November 3rd. A um, lot of exciting things going on at Meldon Law. We're uh, uh, constantly trying to improve the client experience so that uh, in the event you're uh, in an accident and you need help, we do not want to be uh, a stress point for you. What we want to do is take away the stress of all the other BS that goes on. You got your cars messed up and you got to rent a car and the insurance company's dragging their feet. Uh, you're hurting and you don't know who to go to. Uh, you don't know what your rights are under your insurance contract. You don't know uh, what is the right step to take next. We try to deliver uh, the Ritz-Carlton experience at our office, meaning that what we want to do is treat you like family and make sure that we take care of whatever the immediate needs are and then uh, assist you in your road to recovery, uh, making sure that you get fair compensation from the insurance companies. Uh, I can tell you that um, uh, even though uh, there's lots of um, people on TV, other law firms that do personal injury work, in our firm we know based on conversations that we've had with uh, people that have worked at all these other firms, that we get better results um, than 98% of the law firms out there. And uh, it's just a fact. Uh, it has to do with the quality of the team members that we have as well as the systems that we have in place to make sure that you get um, a good result. So if you need help, uh, give us a call at Meldon Law, 352-373. 8,000, or just go to MeldonLaw.com or Google MeldonLaw.com, whatever works for you, and uh, we will uh, be glad to review your case, and we'll let you know uh, what we recommend doing. So don't forget us. Uh, we're there to help. In fact, um, I wrote a book called Seven Mistakes That Wreck Your Florida Accident Case, and I wrote this consumer guide. It's not difficult to read. Um, it, it lays out all the elements of a personal injury case and what goes on uh, that concerns you, uh, the injured person uh, that uh, has a case based on a crash or a fall or some, some serious injury. Uh, it's important for our clients to have some idea of things not to do. The, uh, oftentimes we'll get cases that other attorneys have handled uh, uh, before us and people get frustrated because they won't return their calls. They won't uh, let them know what's going on. They're not no progress in their case. And uh, what we find out is, is that uh, it's really important not to make any of the seven mistakes that can wreck your case. Uh, so... If you want a copy of the book, it's free. Just Google Meldon Law. Uh, you'll get to our um, webpage. And then right at the top of the webpage, it says free consumer guides. Just go there and you'll be able to get our book, 
Seven mistakes that can wreck your Florida accident case. You can download a PDF version uh, right away, or if you want, you can uh, uh, order it and we'll send it to you. You can call the office at 352 373 8000 and we'll send it to you that way. Uh, it's very important, though, to know what to do and what not to do. And I think it's the only book that uh, anybody's published in this part of the state uh, that deals with uh, those issues. So uh, take advantage of it. Uh, we have plenty of free tickets for all the sporting events. Just go to uh, our uh, Facebook page, Meldon Law, or uh, to our Instagram page, and you'll see all of the free ticket giveaways we have. We get a lot of tickets because we're the only official injury law firm partner of the Florida Gators. And part of our deal is that we score a bunch of tickets and we in turn um, uh, give them away to Gator fans, uh, people that want to come to the uh, events. And even if you're not a Gator fan, we'll still see if we can get you some tickets. So uh, don't worry about your your loyalties. Some people... Um, come from other places and uh, have, uh, you know, other favorite teams. But uh, I will tell you, if you live in north central Florida, take advantage of going to some of the Gator sporting events. We have uh, really a, a great teams and exciting events, even if the football team has been in a slump for the last 15 years. Uh, and that's my commentary on uh the Gator football situation. Anyhow, we are going to take a quick break on Meldon Law and friends and see if we can really have a terrific interview with our guests, Chad and Lisa Prilliman, uh, who own the Fenny Grill in the Villages. So we'll be back in just a few minutes on Meldon Law and Friends. <laughs> Well, I'm joining the band, of course. Since Melvin Law is the official law firm partner of the Florida Gators, I want to help. Dad, we're litigators. Let's stick to helping people in the courtroom. Well, can we still hang out and jam a little bit? At Melvin Law, we won't back down. I was going down a one-way street and a girl that was driving her car T-boned me on my scooter. I ended up going for an MRI and discovering that I had two herniated discs. Coming to carry allowed me to not have to worry about what doctor I was going to see or what physical therapist I had to go to. They say, these are the people we trust. You're going to have a great experience there. And I honestly did each time. Call Melvin Law. Your consultation is absolutely free. And I was in an accident. Someone ran a red light and hit me, and I was hurt. You don't know where to turn. Luckily, I called Jeffrey. These big insurance companies, they don't want you to win. They truly don't. But Jeffrey and his firm and the people that work here, they just really fight for you. You call the law offices of Jeffrey Belden because you're going to need help, and they will help you. Call Melden Law right now. Hey, Sammy, look who's there. Say hi. Hey. <gasps> you, you again. again. Melvin Law, Jeffrey speaking. Jeffrey! Somebody, Somebody hit else hit us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here we go again. Welcome back to Meldon Law and Friends. I'm Jeffrey Meldon, and I'm here with my friends, Chad and Lisa Prilliman, and we're going to get to them in just a few minutes, but I have some exciting things to tell you about what's going on uh, in the community. Um, Ocala Arts Festival, October 26th and 27th, downtown Ocala, uh, they always do a great uh, show down there. There's going to be music, food, great art, uh, some really fine, uh, talented artists come there every year. And uh, we love supporting uh, what they're doing in Ocala. The downtown is really 
uh, blowing up in, in good ways, and uh, we want to support him. So, again, the date is October 26th and 27th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, Sunday, 10 to 5. Just go downtown, uh, find a parking space, and you'll be there. Uh, a couple other things. The Friends of Marion County Veterans um, are putting together the Veterans Appreciation Weekend that same weekend, October 26th and 27th from 9 to 5 at the Ocala Marion County Veterans Memorial Park. And uh, they're going to uh, have uh, some uh, good times uh, trying to remember and honor our veterans in the right way. Uh, military flag and the family monuments are going to be there. It's free to the public. Um, and uh, I think it's important for us to honor those that serve our country. Uh, it's uh, Veterans Day, of course, is November 11th, which I can't forget. That's when my wife and I were married. So we always have a holiday for our anniversary. Isn't that a good idea? We were married November 10th. Oh, okay. So you take two days off. <laughs> well, that's a good way to do it. So anyhow, let's support um, our veterans. And uh, there's a strong veteran community in Marion County, and uh, we want to support them. Uh, finally, uh, Meldon Law is sponsoring the Walk to End Alzheimer's, October 26th. So that's Saturday, October 26th um, from 7. It's actually, if you get there at 8, 30, 9 o'clock, that's or it says 7 to 11 here, but you don't have to get there at 7 a.m. It gets started about 8, 30, 9 o'clock. Uh, it's at the Trinity Methodist Church on the north side of Gainesville, the walk to end Alzheimer's uh, in more than 600 communities nationwide, we um, uh, have these uh, walks to end Alzheimer's on the same day. Oh, wow. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Um, it's an um, inspiring event. Uh, people... Um, uh, I would have to say that just about everybody in some way is affected by Alzheimer's and dementia, usually family members or friends. Uh, and the good news is there's a lot of improvement and there's a lot of new um, drugs that are being developed that at least slow down the uh, advance of um, Alzheimer's and dementia. And my wife, Patricia, and I take care of her 91 your old mom, who's oh, wow. kind of losing it, right? Um, and it's really hard because uh, my wife, Patricia, knows the way her mom was even five or six or seven years ago, and now it's different, you know? And That's what she did. She and was in my a, former life, I'm a cert I still am a certified nurse assistant, and the geriatric and the um, caring for the elderly is my heart, and they're great, and it's you, you to remember who they are. Yes. Yeah. And, remember. Yeah. And Patricia's mom was the strong lady in the yes. family, you know, and uh, she, you know, she she owned all the family property. She owned all, ran yeah. the businesses. Oh, wow. She was, and you know, for um, Patricia to see her mom uh, decline like that is yeah. hard. On the other hand, um, it's like um, really a privilege and blessing to be able to have the resources to help your loved one because yeah. there's some Amazing. people Absolutely. that are in a bind. And uh, the Alzheimer's Association, um, this is our third year in a row that we've been the major sponsor for Alzheimer's. We just sponsored a golf tournament for Alzheimer's. Um, the Parrot Head Groups of the Villages does, us in September, they always do an Alzheimer's golf tournament and we sponsored um, a team and sponsored signs and stuff to help help with that as well. Yeah, I mean, it's a pervasive problem, and now people are living longer, which means they may be healthy enough to walk around and do things, <laughs> mm -hmm. but they may be, you know, losing it. Um, so we're, we're very passionate about that, and, uh, and we really want to support um, uh, the Alzheimer's um, endeavors. So... Um, 
uh, I think that, oh, wait a minute. I want to give a plug to where we're at before we get into the nitty gritty <laughs> here. All right. We're here in the podcast room at Spurrier's Great Iron Grill having a great time. Great. You can see the. Isn't it, really it cool? Is, it's beautiful. Very Our first time here. It's amazing. So we got the head ball coach um, with uh, all of his memorabilia, all his helmets Incredible. behind us. For those of you that haven't been here, it's a Come. it's a trip, okay? <laughs> and I'm talking to some people in the restaurant business, yeah. and you guys have an amazing place. Uh, but this place is also one of a kind. It's awesome. It's it really is fantastic. It's they a, did a beautiful job building it and... The history, I mean, you really, it's easy to enjoy it. It really is. So whoever's out there that hasn't been to Spurrier, Spurrier's Gridiron Grill or people that have been here a lot but haven't been here in a few weeks, come on down and uh, you'll have a blast. They're, they're, they open up every day, I think, at 4 in the afternoon. And on weekends, I think there's brunch uh, for Saturday and Sunday, so enjoy it. It's a treasure that we have uh, in Gainesville, and it's fun. That's, I mean, that's uh, really what it's all about. And speaking about fun, uh, let's talk about uh, uh, the Fenny, uh, what's it called, the Fenny Grill. The Fenny right? Grill, yeah. Okay, so Chad and Lisa, you guys run and own the Fenny Grill. Um, I've seen... Uh, pictures of it. Uh, my wife Patricia and I are going to come and visit you there. But let's talk a little bit about um, your background and uh, how you wound up uh, running this amazing restaurant. <laughs> it's a long and twisted story. No, um, I, uh, I grew up in Kansas and I was working blue collar jobs and I was actually working at Cessna and I was like working with people twice my age and I got a job in a really nice steakhouse and fell in love with it. I loved the business, I loved everything about it, and 25 years later, um, here I am, or more than 25 years later now at this point, but uh, uh, moved to Orlando in, in 2000 and then moved out to the villages and worked for them, um, for the co company directly for almost 20 years, and opened Finney Grill when they developed that property right there opened them as the general manager and then uh, five years after that they approached me and were like we want you to buy this place and and gave us the opportunity to buy it and and we've enjoyed it now for two years uh, it's been very exciting it's in a beautiful space and it's it's been a part of the community and so it's great it really well let's fun. talk about the space and everything out there because uh, this is not just like a restaurant where you pull in the parking lot and you go in and eat and you leave there's a lot more going on let's talk about that yeah it was it was built originally um, as part of their recreational package there's golf courses and a pool and a rec recreation center and a nature trail and a springs behind there and it's a beautiful restaurant um, sitting amongst all of this space and uh, looks like old Florida the Spanish moss the live oaks uh, just all of it is just really beautiful um, and you know for me it's probably the most relaxing place in the villages and not that they don't I mean everywhere in the village is beautiful I, it really is they developed it beautifully but they left it a lot of the old Florida feel to it and so my favorite thing is sitting by the pool with a cup of coffee in the morning before we start business and just watching the sun come up and then enjoying it um, it's so quiet and peaceful there it's amazing now it's not just the building uh, there's this huge swimming pool there right yeah. yes we are attached literally attached to a family pool in the villages which means that um, residents and their visitors and grandkids can come in and utilize the pool and so we we it is a very popular pool and uh, the pool deck really it opens up into our back patio so um, people are welcome to come in and and get something to eat and drink um, we we bring them food out on the pool deck so they literally can eat on the pool deck and relax and enjoy the space and then when they get hot they usually come into the air conditioning and grab a drink and sit and relax for a minute and and then go back out and sit and relax in the pool. Um, it's it's a very, um, there's only I think one other pool like that, built like that in the whole village's area. So it's very unique and we're very, very blessed to have that. Space. And you also have trails around the spot, right? Yes. yes. Um, Adamsville, I think is the, the name of the town, if I remember right, or the area, it's called Adamsville. And uh, it's got a spring, it's Adamsville Spring, and it's literally, I don't know, probably 
uh, 30 yards from the pool yeah, is this spring right that right. bubbles up right there and they have nature trails and boardwalks going across it and you know signs telling you what the foliage is and the you know the animals Birds, that you'll see wildlife. on it oh, so it's like it's it's like a, a nature park that you can yes. the, and you can take kids there and yes. stuff like that now um can anybody come to the restaurant yes we are open to the public and um and you don't have to live in the villages to go to finney grill if we're open to the public um our kids love the nature trails and wandering around and and so we cater to families and and the residents of the villages we have a great neighborhood that supports us very well and and we love our, our regular nice. residents that come see us yes well, that's pretty cool. Now, what are some of the favorite um, items, Lisa, on the menu? Oh, my. Well, again, he said we have children, so you have to think the way children do. We have chicken fingers that are hand-breaded. Um, my daughters love them. We make all our own dressings, so the honey mustard with the chicken tenders, that's a kid's <laughs> pleaser. Uh, our cheeseburgers um, are amazing. Our mm -hmm. breakfast is so good. Now, what about uh, for adults? What are some of the uh, oh, favorites? Adults? we have an incredible bar and it reminds me of cheers where the residents come and get to experience their friends and our bartenders are top of the line extraordinary people uh, that know the guests and serve them every day and you just like the tsunamis I do I like the beverage, I like the beverage. Well, now now do you have seafood there we do what, what are some of the seafood dishes? Our salmon dish is a yes. is a wonderful dish. It's it's um, on a bed of couscous with roasted vegetables, mm -hmm. um, feta cheese, and and uh, balsamic glaze. It's Can't very get better than that, right? No, it's very Mediterranean <laughs> and wonderful I, fresh I flavors. To the kids, to the kids, but we do have a more sophisticated. Yeah. Foods, uh, one of my favorite dishes. One of my favorite dishes is the uh, chicken pesto flatbread. Oh yes, uh, that was. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, was, it was an item that that we found on vacation. We, yeah, we found on vacation <laughs> somewhere, and it. <laughs> and it is incredible. It's got ricotta cheese and pesto chicken and roasted peppers. It's amazing. Yeah, I mean you're sitting around with friends having a drink. Uh, what can be uh, better than having a um, a nice flatbread? You know, yeah. and uh, you know chilling out. And, yes. Yeah, I think that's uh, what I've picked. I haven't been to your restaurant yet, but it's the second time that we've talked and uh, you know about what's going on and I get the feeling that it's kind of a very relaxing chilled out uh, atmosphere yeah. very much uh, when you're sitting out on the patio yeah. and just all the, the trees and incredible. you know you, you the pool and and the springs it really is it's a day away it's, it really is a uh, way to escape and just relax it's so peaceful there and the people really come together and and the neighborhood's very friendly and and engaging and so it, it's it's a unique space it really is and you have a lot of regulars yeah. yes uh, we're blessed to be in the middle of, of a very big neighborhood in the villages it's probably now you know over four thousand homes i i would assume what neighborhood is that? uh finney oh, and then it, and it runs into mcclure and there's a few others down in there that all kind of attach together so we're in a beautiful space there so like we've got regulars that come nearly every day and they come and hang out and you know and one of the best things was There's during covid is like they would come in and check on the staff and make sure that the staff was getting enough tip money and they could take care of their bills and um we really engaged the, st uh, the neighborhood and and the neighborhood really engaged us and it really is a family. I mean, we are really a family with the neighborhood. She makes birthday cakes for the people that come in. She's an incredible baker. Um, but, yeah, she makes them birthday cakes, and, and uh, it really is like a family environment. So, so as a, uh, a, a professional chef, like, <laughs> is it fun having a big kitchen like that? <laughs> It's great. It's great. I, I I bake at home. I leave the kitchen work to a real professional chef. <laughs> <laughs> but you like to bake at but home. I do. The, I do. Yes. No, but it, it's fun that uh, you're able to meld uh, great food, great atmosphere in into something yes. that's unique. Because I don't know um, any restaurants 
that I've been to around here that actually have a swimming pool and a nature walk around there and right. you know the whole right. how did that all evolve because you, you that's you know. uh, the developers of the villages as they were laying that land out with the spring and all that stuff you know they try and provide a recreational center um, and usually it's kind of the center of the neighborhood and because of the location, they needed a restaurant right there. And so we we were blessed with just kind of how they laid that out. Yes. And then it does, it gives it a whole resort, resort feel. Like it feels like you've yeah. gone it's away like going to, to its a, own. Yeah, you, you, it, you, I, you know, from the picture, if you go, what's the website for uh, the Fenny Grill? Uh, Fennygrill.com. Yeah. Okay. Yep, and on Facebook and Instagram. Um, Vinny Grill, and we yeah, we own all of those names. <laughs> <laughs> but if you just Google Fenny Grill, you will find it. Yes, okay. you will. And it's F F E N N E Y. F E N N E Y. In yeah. the vill just put Fenny Grill Villages, yeah, and yeah. you will find. I I try to break it down for folks because it's really hard if you're uh, in the car listening or you're, yes, um, you know, near, yes. you're not near where you can write something down. Um, you know, that people have www.fenney oh. <laughs> grill, you know, da, 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 and then, You've no, got it. That's and I it. Can't, <laughs> I, but I can't remember all that. No, that's too much. So, but I might remember Fenny. Yes. Fenny Grill. So Fenny Grill, all you have to do is um, just kind of, uh, Google Fenny Grill. If you're from the villages, you probably know where it is. But uh, if you don't, go visit it because uh, it's a treasure. And it's not uh, just a restaurant. It's a restaurant and more. Um, and the food there, um, I have heard from reliable sources, <laughs> is outstanding. That That's why the locals come back over and over again, because you really deliver a top-notch uh, product and uh, experience. It's more of an experience. Yes. In some ways, it's similar to Spurrier's, because here, this is more than just a restaurant, yeah. and the Fenny Grill is more than just a restaurant. It is. Yeah. It really, truly is. Here, you know, it's beautiful, and you see the nostalgia and the love and, oh, yes. and the pride of, of this area, and it's amazing. Cool. You know, it's kind of cool to see. And, and for Finney, it is, it's like stepping into its own little private resort and just relaxing. And so you grab the tsunami and, yes. and a wonderful <laughs> dinner, and you yes, relax, and you're like, it, you know, a few hours later, you're like, wow, this was like a whole relaxing day. I mean, it really, it's, so, even being there is fun. Yeah, and, and you're really big on lunchtime, right? That's usually our busiest time of the day as far as guest count goes. We have, uh, we're in the middle of the neighborhood, so people are always coming and going and golf, game and golf games and, and there's pickleball. And I mean, like you said, there's like everything in that little area. There's a dog park right there. I mean, there's like all kinds of cool stuff. And, and the village just starts early and ends early. Yes, it does. <laughs> and that was the best part about moving to the villages. When I worked in Orlando, it was like everything was so late. You know, I got to the villages and everything closes at nine. And so when I, the first night I got off work, I was like, all right, where are we going? Because it was normal in Orlando to go somewhere and get something to eat or a drink or something. And like, what are you talking about? There's nowhere to go. Like, what do you mean there's nowhere to go? No, it's nine Everything closes yeah. at nine. It's and, great. And, that, and that was before COVID. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now it's eight, I think. You know, no, because you were telling me that you you have a fabulous dinner as well. However... By seven or eight o'clock, it starts pretty much slowing down, right? It does, and um, as business owners and and people in the restaurant business, being done by nine is, I mean, that's a God's gift. I mean, it really is. You're not dealing with out of control people, and you know you can clean up, and people can go be with their families. We have a lot of families that work with us, and they have kids that they got to get up and go to school in the morning. So it, it's really a God's gift that we, we are able to, you know, close our doors at nine and everyone can go be with their families. Now, what are your days and hours that you're open? We are open seven days a week, um, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. 8 a.m. So your breakfast place too. We do breakfast, and we have incredible pancakes. Incredible. Oh. I, uh, I, I did a lot of it. did a lot of research. <laughs> Lisa's pancakes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> <right>. <laughs> I did a lot of research and and found uh, 
incredible flour that makes incredible pancakes. And yeah, really I mean, flour and water and a little bit of love, there right? Yeah, yeah. magic. That's the size of the plate, it's magic. <laughs> so, and we have uh, syrup, really good uh, syrup to oh, go yes. on the pancakes. Yeah. That's, that's uh, always important. So uh, the Fanny Grill um, is really cool. Um, I'm uh, so glad that I made your acquaintance, and I promise you uh, that uh, Patricia and I are going to come down and hang out and check it out. And, you know, it sounds perfect for us for a weekend, you know, to come down and uh, see what's going on. Uh, in addition to being a restaurateur, I know you guys also are very involved in doing community activities, one of which is dear to my heart, which is the Kids in Positive Places. Let's give a plug for that and what tell us a little bit about uh, what you do with them. Well, I am the uh, COO, the Chief Operating op Officer of the Kids in Positive Places Board, and Kip and I, uh, Kip Hayes, he's, he and I came up with Kids in Positive Places um, when he worked for me at Finney, uh, when we opened it a little over seven years ago, um, he was my assistant manager and we were sitting in the office and we were talking about kids and life and giving back and, and really decided that, that, you know, people really needed to, to needed some mentorship into growing up and being proud of being a tradesman and doing things. Everyone's chasing scholarships and playing ball or joining the military, which there's nothing at all wrong with any of those things. But some kids don't fall in that mold. And, and so being an electrician or being a carpenter, I mean, there are some awesome technical um, jobs out there that you can make a life for and, and provide for your family. And so we started um, Kids in Positive Places and we started mentoring kids. Um, Kip, he's hands-on with those kids, and he's had a very successful group here in Gainesville, and now in, he's down in Marion County and, and into Sumter County, and it's growing, and, and uh, he's impacted a lot of great people, and it's so awesome to be a part of that and help support in the ways that I can, help organize events and put things together and, and the things that I've been able to be a part of that way, and he is such a... He's kind of an inspiring individual. You know? Yeah, Kip's been a guest on our uh, podcast here before. He's yeah, great. And I talked to him on the way over. Uh, um, a young young man got in trouble and needs some help. And uh, he, you know, Kip said if he's had a relatively you know clean record and looks like somebody that can be saved, mm -hmm. you know, uh, saved in the uh, from the standpoint of can we get him on the right track? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, he does, you know, there's some kids, unfortunately, that no matter what you do, maybe it's just uh, the environment they're in that they just, you know, it's just almost impossible to turn things it around. Is. They, um, yeah. they get into such a space where, where they really, they don't know anything different and they don't see the hope or the, the need for those things. And Kip's amazing at, at, finding those people and we you know we've had a lot of discussions on how it works and mm -hmm. and uh you know he is great at finding those people that that are struggling and they need some discipline and they need some encouragement in their life and he helps them grow into that and and when we met i actually had someone living in my house that i was mentoring from tampa uh, a 19 year old that was starting his life and started out in a rough way and that's how kip and i we started those conversations yeah and and I you know in my uh, right after law school I was a juvenile probation officer. Oh really? For a for about a year. Right? You saw a lot of those guys. Yeah, they had a lot of potential, but just they were heading yeah. down the wrong way. Yeah, and, and it was um, you know I I always took the positive uh, approach, feeling like everybody can be redeemed. Obviously, not everybody. Yeah. When I say redeemed, you know. Get people into um, a positive um, uh, trajectory in their life. Yeah. That, you know, it's like, oh, you know, I read this article this week, right? It's like the millionaire next door is your plumber and your electrician who started a company. Yes, okay? it is. And now they've got 40 employees and uh, they're running around with trucks fixing, 
fixing your air conditioning and uh, yes. you know your plumbing and your electric and you know and people yeah. don't realize that and, and <laughs> it is you, you you want them to realize that man you there's a whole life that you can have like that and once you get started and you learn those skills you have you have magic that nobody else has and you can be a million the millionaire next door and and <laughs> and uh, have a wonderful life without without having to go to school or or you know go to college or chase a scholarship or play ball or whatever so how do uh, folks get a hold of uh, kids in positive places if they're in a, if they either know someone or their own family they need some uh, help um, we have a great website and kids in positive places um, and that is about the best way and then other than that like here in Gainesville um, in Lincoln and then in Bellevue um, School, uh, now Forest, we Kip is in those once a week. So yeah, I was there at the Lincoln uh, presentation uh, about a month ago, and oh, Kip wow. showed me, you know, what they were doing, and um, so it's pretty for, amazing, isn't it? Yeah, he's done a great job with that. Program. For those of you listening, um, if you know somebody who's a good kid but just you know has uh, you know fallen. Uh, in the wrong direction, say uh, so to speak. Uh, kids in positive places uh, can help. However, the kid has to be motivated. The, you know, the kid in some way has to want to succeed and uh, realize that there's uh, better opportunities. However, once you start um, getting kids to see the opportunity, and the fact that they can succeed in life in ways other than, you know, selling drugs or doing things that are, you know, completely uh, the wrong direction, uh, you will find out that uh, kids in positive places can really turn around uh, young people's lives. Yeah, definitely. And like I said, Kip's really great at it. He really is. So uh, we're going to wrap up Meldon Law and Friends now, but I want to thank uh, Lisa and Chad for joining us. Uh, again, it's Fenny Grill, uh, and it's in the villages, and it's an amazing space, great food, great restaurant, the kind of place where, you know, show up and hang out, have a good time, and uh, just uh, say I want to talk to Chad or Lisa. Are they around? I know you got kids, Lisa. How, do you get to the restaurant uh, very often? I, I do get there. Not as much as I wish. The kids keep me pretty busy. <laughs> but I am there occasionally. Well, I mean, what do you have? Four kids? Four teenagers. Four teenagers. Four teenagers. Uh, <laughs> and that will keep you pretty busy. <laughs> yes, it will. And so, anyhow, I wanted to thank you, though, so much for uh, joining us. Thank and, you. Uh, thank you. Meldon Law and Friends really uh, loves um, bringing out the best in our community. And there's so many good things going on uh, that you might as well take advantage of it. And shame on you if you're sitting at home not doing anything. Get your butt out of your seat and go down to the Fenny Grill and have a good time. Okay? Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for listening to Meldon Law and Friends. And if you ever need help, just give me a call. We'll be glad to give you the Ritz-Carlton experience at Meldon Law. I promise you. Thank you again. And we'll see you next week on Meldon Law and Friends. Awesome.